Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Animal Adaptation Project. Uh, what this project is going to be about is creating your own animal adaptations. So uh, when you come into class tomorrow, we're going to get into groups of five. Uh, there should be 30 kids in each class, therefore five, or five in a group, there should be six groups total. Each group, once you sit down, uh, Mr. King's going to, me, <laughs> I will pass out, uh, each of the characters. Um, so your characters are your animal. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a badger, a white-tailed deer, barn owl, gray squirrel, and a muskrat. Each of these animals is an animal that is native to Indiana, uh, which I thought would be kind of neat to do animals that, were actually, that actually live here. What you're going to do, you're going to start off class with, by simply silently reading by yourself the entire page about your animal. Now while you're doing that, let's just say for instance I get the badger. I'm gonna read it and as I'm reading I've got a note page here. I'll put my name at the top, circle my rotation, my name of my animal, start with badger, okay? And then these are the things that I'm gonna be looking for. In my reading, I want to do these four things. I want to look for their habitat. That means where do they live, what does it look like, maybe what their home is, uh, what, if, if it tells you that part. The diet. This is going to be whatever they eat. Okay. If, you, if they eat certain things, then that's what you're going to put down here. Body covering. Um, some of the pages will tell you in detail what they look like, what they... Uh, what their body covering is, uh, whatever. Um, usually in this general characteristics type area, they'll have some of that detail. You write as much as you can right there. Body, co oh, I'm sorry, body covering. Adaptations. Now, remember, these are both physical and behavioral. Physical adaptations would be things that help the animal survive that's on their body. For instance, a, a badger has uh, claws to help them dig. And I think it says that somewhere in here. Um, you're going to want to write that down. Clause for digging. I need the adaptation and what it's used for. Um, behavioral will be what do they do to survive? Like behavioral adaptations that we've talked in class. Um, as you can see here for the badgers, because badgers are nocturnal, you know, they, their, their presence is often evident by extensive digging rather than actual sighting. So that means that they, they awake at night because the animals they hunt for are also active at night. Or maybe the animals they hunt for are in their burrows at night sleeping so they can hunt out and dig up their burrows. Another behavioral one would be digging up the burrows uh, in the ground so they can eat the, their prey. Okay, So those are be physical and behavioral. Now the fun part about this, this is the work part. As soon as your whole group is done... You guys will raise your hands. When you've raised your hand, I will come over with a change card. There are six change cards, okay? You will get a random one. One of them, let's say you get the first one. I hand you a card, climate change. Now, your five animals, okay, all live in Indiana right now, okay? If you get this climate change, it says, over the past million years, the temperature in your animal's environment has increased to almost desert-like conditions. Less water, more temp hotter temperature in the daytime, colder temperature at night, um, no real seasons of change, like no, no falling leaves or anything like that. It's just desert-like quality all the time. Now, if you'll remember yesterday, or I guess two days ago, yeah, yesterday, we did the animal adaptations paper. We came up with some desert type adaptations. Now here's what you're going to do. On your paper, you're going to write out the change that has occurred. So whatever this change card says, you're going to write in this first box. My recommendation is one person in your group reads it out loud so that everyone can copy it on their paper and then they copy it themselves afterwards. Now here's the fun part. You get to take your animal, in my case the badger, and I have to come up with a physical adaptation change. If my honey badger, or I'm just, he's just a badger, if my badger 
is now living in the environment of mostly desert, okay, where it's hard to find water, hard to find creatures, whatever. What is a physical adaptation that he will have to have to survive in that environment? I'm going to write down at least, at least two. I would probably recommend doing three. That way you have a chance to choose the one you want uh, for your actual uh, end of the activity here. I also need a description of some behavioral adaptations, things that you would change behaviorally. Um, you know, we talked about his behaviors being nocturnal and digging up uh, animals in the ground. He might still keep those in a desert. That's probably not a bad idea in a desert. But come up with one behavioral adaptation that might change it. Okay? The final part. Okay, the, the, that's fun because you get to create a new one. The final part is, on the back of the paper, after you've done all your adaptation changes, you are going to draw a picture of your new animal. Okay, if you want, he still needs to have the name Badger, but if you want to rename him something that goes more with a desert, go for it. But I need a picture that you're going to use this picture kind of as a, as a guide, and you're going to add whatever changes. Okay, so if you're going to change him by adding, you know, bigger ears so he uh, releases some of the heat, you know, then you're going to draw a Badger, this Badger guy right here, but you're going to draw him with really huge ears. Um, make the background, make it look like his new environment. So if he's going to be in a uh, desert, you need to draw like orange kind of dirt, you know, uh, desert dirt and cacti maybe in the background or tall mountains in the background, those, those buttes that go straight up, you know, whatever. But on the back, you're going to draw a picture of your new badger with his new adaptations and you're going to label them, okay? You're going to label those adaptations. So if I was going to draw my badger, okay, he's got a little tail okay little feet this is a very quick drawing so it's not gonna be very good okay just so you get an idea of what what you should do if I made really big ears okay he looks kind of like a rabbit now doesn't he okay if I drew really big ears with veins remember we, we studied the jackrabbit Okay, now when I'm done drawing it, I'll put a background for him. Put cacti out here. Please keep in mind that this would be better if I took time to do it. Okay, all right. Maybe I'll put a butte out here. Okay, awesome. All right, now, when I'm all done drawing, I'm going to label it. I'm going to put arrow there, and I'm going to say, long ears to release extra heat. Okay? So I'm going to draw whatever my adaptations are. If I have a foot adaptation, I'll draw it there. If it's just a behavioral adaptation, I might write here, Behavioral adaptation, and then write write a sentence about my behavioral adaptation. Now, if you can draw your behavioral adaptation, that'd be great. You know, show him doing whatever that is. But this is kind of what you're going to be doing. You're going to do full color. Things should be totally colored in. Okay. Um, but you need to have your you need to have at least three adaptations on the page. So like one, two, three. Okay? One of them has to be behavioral, the others can be whatever. Okay? Good luck tomorrow. Hopefully when you walk in, you kind of know what's going on. And I'll rehash it a little bit. But enjoy. These are gonna be a lot of fun. I want to put these on the wall. So I really want you guys to do a good job with these. Alright, thanks guys.